If there's a pond in your neighborhood where rainwater eventually flows, its value goes far beyond aesthetics. Retention basins, detention ponds, and other stormwater facilities prevent flooding and downstream erosion, and they improve the quality of your community's streams, rivers, and bays. In natural areas, only 10% of the rain that hits the ground runs off into streams. Most of it is absorbed directly into the ground. When subdivisions are built, natural surfaces are replaced with hard surfaces like roofs, patios, driveways, and roads that prevent water from infiltrating into the ground, dramatically increasing the amount of stormwater runoff. That's a lot more water moving much faster, causing downstream flooding, erosion of stream banks, and overwhelming wetlands. Considered by the EPA to be the number one threat to America's waters, stormwater conveys all the residues of our urban living as it courses through its drainage area, or watershed, to local streams and rivers. To help mitigate the effects of stormwater runoff, many communities require developers to install stormwater infrastructure that reduces the flow of water from the subdivision to pre-development rates. So when you move into a subdivision, you of course want to be a good neighbor to people downstream and you want your upstream neighbors to be a good neighbor to you. So that's what detention and retention basins do. They can help hold that excessive amount of water that's formed creasing of a previous era. It holds that water in and allows that water to slowly dissipate over time, reducing the erosion on either your downstream neighbors or on you from your upstream neighbors. Along with reducing the volume of stormwater runoff, these ponds also minimize downstream impacts and capture trash, sediment, organic debris, chemicals, and other pollutants. The most common types of stormwater facilities include dry ponds, which hold stormwater for a short amount of time before slowly emptying out completely, and wet ponds, which maintain a permanent pool of water throughout the year with levels that fluctuate to accommodate additional stormwater. As a developer completes the construction of a subdivision, they'll transfer responsibility of pond maintenance to the Property Owners Association. Along with as-built drawings and an inspection report, the developer should provide an operations and maintenance plan, which will include instructions on how to inspect and maintain all stormwater infrastructure in the subdivision. It's important to recognize that once this transfer takes place, the property owners of the entire subdivision are responsible for the pond's ongoing maintenance. The thing about with a retention pond that's so important is that a retention pond, if you let it go unmaintained for a number of years, trying to get it back to a, a state that is functioning it can be very expensive. So the, the old adage about an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure is very true for retention ponds. By regularly inspecting and maintaining your subdivision's pond, you're not only being a good neighbor, you're improving water quality for everyone's benefit. While some municipalities require routine inspections, it's important that all stormwater infrastructure is inspected every 6 to 12 months and following every major rain event. Be sure to perform your first inspection before the developer transfers responsibility of your pond to the POA. Look for any sediment that has built up in the pond itself and the infalls and outfalls. Construction activity without properly functioning erosion control, like silt fences, result in excess sediment washing into your stormwater pond which can block outfalls and reduce storage capacity. The developer is responsible for the removal of any sediment found in a pond before turning control over to the association. In dry ponds, look for standing water, which can be a breeding ground for mosquitoes and indicate ongoing erosion within the pond. Look for overgrown grass and brush, which can block the outfall and decrease storage capacity. Check for any bare or unstable surfaces which become extremely vulnerable to additional erosion and cause sedimentation. Look out for any large trees within a pond, which reduce storage capacity, and make sure no trees are growing on the berm. Their roots can deteriorate the integrity of that berm, increasing the likelihood of a blowout. To properly maintain your pond, set a schedule to manage the vegetation, remove any invasive species, trash, and debris. These simple ongoing tasks that can be handled by your landscaping contractor could save you significant money over the long term. A lack of maintenance will result in extensive damage to your pond, especially after severe weather events.
This damage will require expensive measures to restore the pond's functionality and require surveys, engineering designs, regulatory permitting, major structural repairs, and dredging. Beyond inspections and maintenance, you and your neighbors can help prevent the clogging of inlets and outlets by keeping grass clippings and leaf trash from entering storm drains. Not only can they obstruct the flow of water and fill the pond, but as organic material decomposes, it releases nitrogen and phosphorus into the water, a significant pollutant in community streams, lakes, and bays. It is important to remind the homeowners about the yard clippings and garbage and all these things that go through the, the stormwater system, the culverts that are in the streets that then end up in the lakes and the retention, detention ponds. It's going to cost the neighborhood and, and them because they are part of the neighborhood. They're, you know, uh, if they're 100, 100 residents, they're one one hundredth of the community and they'll pay one one hundredth of the expense to dredge out that pond because they have to be maintained so that they don't fail at some point. Now that you understand why there's a pond in your backyard, take steps to ensure it functions properly. Clean water is everyone's responsibility. If you live in a neighborhood with a stormwater pond, properly inspecting and maintaining it can help improve the quality of our streams, rivers, and bays while saving the neighborhood money. Remember, step up, speak up, and follow up. You can find more resources on cleanwaterfuture.com.